Good morning, lovely people. Happy uh, Wednesday. Yes, it's Wednesday. <laughs> uh, my name's Kaylee. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, normally, I post a rune reading every day. Today, I actually have decided to add a tarot card to it. For a little bit of, of uh, clarification on the runes, um, just to maybe give a little bit more flavor or flesh the message out, and um, just for better relatability. Uh, yeah, because the runes are definitely not as um, popular as tarot, and that's okay. I still love them. <laughs> so, I will start with the runes and then pull a tarot card. And I think that's how I want to do this, yeah. Okay, so, let's see what the message is for today. It is the 16th of September, 2020. Tomorrow is a new moon. It's a pretty interesting one. It'll happen in Virgo. So yes, let's begin with my prayer. God within, God without. How shall I ever be in doubt? There's no place where I may go and not there see God's face, not know. I am God's vision and God's ears. To the harvest of my years and the silver and the stone. God's self unfolding and God's own. Oh. Okay, today is four then. Oh, wow. Degas came through in my, my personal room reading. Okay, this is nuts. Oh my god, you guys. This is the... Th okay, so the one I recorded yesterday that ended up not getting posted because it was... Uh, it came out a little buggered. This rune has come out three days in a row for the collective rune reading. Three days in a row in the first position. That's actually a little bit crazy. <laughs> so this is Ingwa's. And this represents new beginnings and completion of old things. Um, I kind of, you can kind of view it as like the moon, but it is it is a seed. It is a protected enclosure for for power for potential power. It's a seed. It's the seed, right? Oh, sorry about my hair. So. Considering there is a new moon tomorrow that I literally mentioned as I was doing this. <laughs> uh, that's significant. <laughs> so if there's anything you need to complete to finish projects, um, you know, severing ties with anyone or anything like that, do it now. And then this is Jera. This signifies uh, a passage of time. This is the harvest. My Every time my niece sees this rune, she says, It's two birdies! Which I think is so cute, because it does kind of look like two birds <laughs> circling each other. And um, I always thought the, the front of this journal looks like two birds as well. <clears throat> but anyway, this, this, this is a... Being in the middle position here is kind of like now is harvest time finished projects, now is the harvest, and then this is Hagalaz, this is hail, this is the elemental storm. This has come out quite a number of times in the, the collective readings as well. Um, the biggest thing about Hagalaz is that elemental storms are intended to clear the way and clear the BS so that something new can emerge because within the hail within the the ice that falls from the sky there is although it feels like chaos to us there is actually a divine order this is considered the primal form the primal rune and actually the do i have hagalas on my finger today no i don't this one popped off yeah i don't have it okay but anyway there's there's another way to write hagalas nala Shh. She's in heat, sorry. Anyway, there's no manners. Sorry, there's another way to raid Hegelaz where um, it is uh, one line with then two cross lines over it. And um, within that shape, every single other rune can be found. Um, so anyway, so it's, it's divine order in the chaos, but there will be some disruptions. There will be uh, an, an elemental storm. 
And then Degas here, this is a this is another really cool rune. I love that this came out while I was trying to pull three. Um, because this is a, a rune for transformation. It is the rune for breakthrough. It represents dusk and dawn and twilight and that magical moment where darkness meets the light. <laughs> so that in and of itself is really beautiful. This is uh, a significant time, a significant time to be alive. It's a significant time to be exploring spirituality. I mean, there are, there are thousands of people awakening to the truth that, um, you know, you have so much more power than we are told we do just as a human being so complete things now is harvest now is harvest right now there will be a storm but it is to inspire transformation and breakthrough and um yeah we're in we're in a major time period of exactly that <laughs> transformation and breakthrough so what just came out? Temperance, of course. This is the Major Arcana card for Sagittarius. Um, and as you can see by the card, there is the symbol of uh, Capricorn and Scorpio. And those two energies are being combined in the cauldron of fate, you could call it. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so essentially, temperance, this is alchemy. This is taking two extreme opposites and combining them to create something even more beautiful out of it. This is all about sitting with those horrible, rough emotions and, and allowing them to pass through you <sighs> to bring about something new. This is the power of Sagittarius. Sagittarius is hmm, not just adventure and happy-go-lucky, but a search for the deeper meaning in life. A search for the a search for truth. And I like, I love very much actually. Oh, ow, that's interesting. Underneath, underneath is the hermit. We're in Virgo season right now, so that's pretty cool. And yeah, Hermit's definitely about completing things too. Okay, so what's really cool about this that it came out is this is very similar in concept to the Breakthrough rune. So it's like we're taking Hagalaz, the Elemental Storm, which you could put on this side with Capricorn. And the, the, uh, the volcano, by the way, this is Mars energy. Why Mars? Well, Mars is one of the traditional rulers of Scorpio, and it is also exalted in Capricorn. Mars loves being in Capricorn. So that's another element of fire that's helping combine these two different energies. So anyway, elemental storm will come through no matter what. It's happening. It's already, it's already occurring, right? This is the time where we get to, we get, <laughs> well, lucky us, we get to uh, witness all of this craziness, and uh, um, all of this, all of this craziness, all of this stuff that we're bringing into the cauldron and combining in our, in ourselves, and our souls, we're transmuting it, it is all going to power and feed and nourish the seed that we've planted, the, the seed of the new beginning. So this is a highly transformative time. This is a highly spiritual time. And it is, uh, it's, it's, it's meant to transform us. So if you run into anything crazy today or this week, going into the new moon, and um, it really riles you up, <laughs> Or it seems like it feels like if it feels like the world is ending, <laughs> it's not. It's it kind it kind it kind of is. It kind of is. But this is transformation into the new. And on the other side of this is the light. 
there you have it. <sighs> That's an intense read for today, man. <laughs> that is an intense read. All right, my friends. I hope you have a wonderful day. And if you're looking for a personal rune or tarot reading, I definitely offer those. My email is down below. And if you want one of these sweet bags for your own runes or your own um, dice, if you're a gamer or anything like that, hit me up. I can make one for you. It's real leather. All right. Have a good day. Namaste.